Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this video, we will learn how we can create a bottom navigation in Jetta Compose. So let's start. So you can see this is my project and I have a few things already ready. For example, this nav host that I already covered in the last video. So if you want to learn about nav host, you can check this video. I will leave the link here. Now in this video, we are going to learn about bottom navigation and for bottom navigation first we will create our navigation items. So inside my main package, let's create nav item. So I will create a class and I will name it nav item and we can create a sealed class. Now inside this class, we will create all the nav items or all the navigation screens that we want to display in our bottom navigation. So I will use objects and all the objects will have same parameters. So I will define it here. So the first parameter that I will use is a string res. So I will use this annotation string res and I will pass title that is an integer because we will get the string title string from string resource folder now the same way we need icon so this time it is tryable res and i will name it icon it is again int and finally we will need nav root that is a string now i will define all the actual navigation items for this example i have created some strings so i have home favorites feed and profile so I will create four objects inside this sealed class nav item. So I will write object. The first one is home. We need to extend nav item and we need to pass the title. So the title is r dot string dot uh, home. We need to import r. And then icon again r dot drawable dot home. I already have the icons ready. Then finally we have nav root that is nav home. The same way I will create three more. So we have our nav items ready. Now what we will do is we will create a bottom navigation view. So let's create a new file. I will create a new Kotlin file and I will name it app bottom navigation or you can name it whatever you want now inside this file I will create a composable function and let's create app bottom navigation like this now inside this function, first I will create all my navigation items. So I will create a val and let's name it nav items and I will create a list of nav items and I will pass all the objects that we created for our nav item. So we have nav item dot home. Now we will create bottom navigation. And we already have a composable function bottom navigation to create bottom navigation as you can see here. Now here you can see all the parameters except content has a default value. So it is optional to pass any parameter except this content. But I will pass the background color only. And in this trailing lambda we will define the bottom navigation item because this is the content for our bottom navigation and it is this trailing lambda is required. And if you want to pass your own modifiers and other parameters you can pass. In this case I will pass just background color. So here I will write background color and then color resource r dot color dot let's import r first. Now inside bottom navigation, I will create bottom navigation item and I will display all the items. So first we will loop through all these nav items. So I will write here nav items dot for each 
and we will get each item here now for each item we will display a bottom navigation item so we will write bottom navigation item here that is another composable function and you can see it takes a bunch of parameters now for this selected parameter we can pass either true or false but here we will not pass a static value because here we need to determine whether the current bottom navigation item is selected item or not and to get the selected item we need nav controller so to this function app bottom navigation i will pass nav controller like this now with the help of this nav controller i will get the current route but the current route is also not a static value it will keep changing whenever we will navigate between the screens so we will observe this route as state and to do this we can create val nav backstack entry by we will delegate the initialization and we will use nav controller dot current backstack entry as state now this is a function that will give us the current backstack entry and we can observe it as state we need to import this get value to remove the compilation error and now from this nav backstack entry we can get the current route so here i will write val current route equals to nav backstack entry dot destination dot route and we need to add the null safety now here in place of selected we will pass current route equals to equals to item dot nav route i am not able to access the nav route let's check the class and if you want to access this we need to assign val here now here we can write item dot nav route like this now let's pass other parameters we need to pass icon if you open bottom navigation item then you can see we need to pass icon that is a required parameter we also need to pass label but we have a default value for label so it is optional to pass a label you can pass if you want but icon is required and all the other parameters are optional except the selected that we already passed so let's pass icon so i will pass icon here and for icon i will pass icon and i will get the icon from painter resource this is another function and i will pass the id as item dot and again we need to add vals to this title and icon because we want to access it outside so here we will write item dot icon and for content description let's pass empty string so our bottom navigation item is ready now let's also pass label because we already have label in our item so i will pass label equals to text and we can pass item dot title and because it is an integer that refers to our string resource we need to use the function string resource and then inside string resource we can pass this title so now we have icon label selected and on click now i will also pass selected content color and unselected content color like this now for the selected content color i will pass color dot white and for unselected i will pass color dot white but i will change the alpha value of white to 0.4 now we have everything icon label selected content color and unselected content color 
we also have the logic to define whether this item is currently selected or not. Now finally whenever an item is clicked we need to navigate to that root and to navigate we can simply use our nav controller and we can write nav controller dot navigate and we can get the root where we want to navigate from item. So we will write item dot nav root and that's it. We have our app bottom navigation ready. Now let's use it inside our main activity. Now to use a uh, bottom navigation we have a scaffold that is another composable function. So here inside main screen I will write scaffold like this and if you command click or control click on this scaffold you will see it is a composable function and it is inside compose material package. Now with the help of this function you can easily create material UI and this function will give you the areas to display the material UI. For example bottom navigation is a material UI and with the help of scaffold we can pass a bottom bar. So here I will write bottom bar and for bottom bar we can pass the bottom navigation that we just created. So here we will write app bottom navigation and we will pass the nav controller and for the actual content that is nav host we will pass it inside the trailing lambda like this and that's it now we can run the application and it should work so let's try it so you can see our bottom navigation view it is working and we have the bottom navigation at the bottom of our application and currently we are inside home screen now let's click other screens it is working absolutely fine the back is also working so this is how you can create a bottom navigation using Jetpack Compose. I hope you liked this video and learned something. If you like the video then please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to Simplified Coding if you are not already a subscriber and share this video with all your friends who are learning Android application development. So thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.